been a busy week in the House of Lords, but one thing that might have escaped your notice is changes to electoral law. Now, at the moment, some of you will be taking part in local elections or about to take part in local elections. This will be the last time you can vote without ID, thanks to changes the Tories have brought in. Well, there's pretty much no evidence of fraud at, at polling stations. So why might they do this? Uh, it makes everyone's life slightly more difficult. It's not stopping actual fraud. What it is doing is disenfranchising about three and a half million people. And those people are generally the lower income levels and more likely to vote against the Conservatives than for the Conservatives. So this is just another part of sort of rigging elections to favour Conservatives. Uh, they've done it with boundaries and they're also doing it in all sorts of ways to do with funding and the hiding where funding might come from for political parties. So that's not great, is it? But actually the more worrying thing is the Electoral Commission and what they've done to that. So the Electoral Commission is independent of the government and it's the body that has control over making sure the elections are fair in this country. Uh, and what the Tories have just done is they've changed the law to make it appointed by the government. So uh, the Electoral Commission is losing its independence. Now, given that it's the Electoral Commission that flagged up all sorts of problems with Russian money uh, when it came to the Brexit referendum and spending on the Brexit referendum, which uh, really quite annoyed the Conservatives, this is just making sure that they're neutralising what is pretty much the only way that the people have any sort of say on what's fair when it comes to elections and any kind of comeback to unfair practices. Anyone can see really that if the body that is in power that was elected then has oversight on the commission that makes sure those elections were fair, then that's a very much a conflict of interest. There's not really any reason that the Conservatives have given for taking away the independence of the Electoral Commission. It's just a straight up power grab at this point and something we should all be concerned about. And yet again, this is another thing, I hate to bang on about this, but if the uh, Labour Party had voted in the Lords, they could have stopped this. So um, Labour Party, what are you for?